Welcome back to HBRV Lifestyle. This is the Honey Badger, John Levingston, giving you the brutal, honest review of Eclipse products. So your Attitude Toy Haulers, Iconic, and Stellar Toy Haulers. This is recycled video footage, folks, so I apologize about that up front. But stick around to the end, because I do the positives after the negatives. If this is the first time you've been to this channel, make sure you subscribe. It does help the channel out tremendously. I have 11 years of RV experience in sales, service, finance, so I'm passing that on to you. The first real negative thing, and I know I'm probably going to get shot for this, but the price is outrageous compared to other products. So if I take the same floor plan in a Shockwave Stealth or Sandstorm, or even let's go as far as a Genesis product like a Supreme, a Wanderer, a Vortex, you get more bang for your buck as far as options, equipment, and look compared to an Attitude iconic or stellar now some of that is outside of eclipses hands lately but this has been something going on for the last probably five or six years I'm sorry guys it's not worth five grand more than every other product especially when you're using a lot of the same equipment to build it The second thing is, I'm sorry again, I'll get shot, but getting warranty work done on an Eclipse product, and this has been since I was selling even the Milan travel trailer 10, 11 years ago, it, it's like pulling teeth sometimes. Now again, in their defense, a lot of service departments want more money than what's really required to make these simple fixes. So I can understand if, you know, Eclipse wants to take it down to their service department in Riverside and fix it. And then you have to also take into account, again, in their defense about this, that California has very strict lemon laws. So they has to be done in a timely manner. So I completely understand in some respects, but come on, man, it, <laughs> I get it, but I don't get it. And the last thing that I'm really not a fan of is that they have this lithium battery situation that they're putting on the majority of their travel trailers. I'm not a fan yet. Now, a lot of you will disagree with me on this, and rightfully so, but I don't think this industry is ready for lithium. Because when you kill that battery, it's dead. I know of now seven different customers, because we haven't received that many, but seven different customers have bought an Eclipse products from us with the lithium battery package and every one of them have had to replace the battery within the first three months. It's just not ready. Will it be ready? I think so. I think eventually in the next 10, 15 years, everything will be lithium when it comes to the RV business. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, now let's go into the positive things. First of all, here's a shout out to Dallin, God rest his soul. That man knew how to build a toy hauler. He knew what to do and how to keep up with the toy industry. So when a new toy came out and somebody complained they couldn't fit it, guess what they did? They built every single toy hauler floor plan to fit the biggest toy in the market once it has been out a while. 
When I mean by a while, I mean a year. So it takes added two toy haulers, Eclipse and Iconic, Stellar, it takes them a year, while the rest of the industry, it takes them five or six years to catch up. So shout out to Dallin, because God rest his soul, the man knew what people wanted going out to the desert, and that is, can I fit my bloody toy? On his wife, his wife is still alive, she does an immaculate job with interior design. When a woman walks into a, a Eclipse toy hauler, they like it majority of the time better than they like any other product on the lot. The last positive thing, because now I've given you two, is that overall, when they go, when you go to take it in on trade, I will tell you that every used one I've ever sold, I don't hear any complaints from customers. So while the negative about the warranty work and the pain in the butt of getting stuff done, once it's done, once it's been through a shakedown period, very rarely do I hear anything negative when we sell them used or when I've sold them used. Hope this was helpful. In the top right hand corner, I will give you the 20FB walkthrough and in the top left hand corner, I'll give you one of the fifth wheel walkthroughs. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, Happy Camping. Remember folks, toolkit and sense of humor.